In today's cartoon story joke, we've got a comedy so uproarious, it'll have you l o l i n g Watch as a blonde with a bold new look takes on a cow-filled traffic jam and a crafty farmer, proving that laughter and adventure go hand in hand. Once upon a time, in a small town not too far from the bustling city, there lived a blonde woman named Lisa. Lisa was well acquainted with the barrage of blonde jokes that seemed to follow her wherever she went. She had heard them all: the light bulb jokes, the "Why did the blonde stare at the orange juice?" gags, you name it. It was as if her hair color was the punchline to every joke in the book. Lisa, being a spirited and determined woman, finally reached her breaking point. She was done with being the butt of everyone's jokes. It wasn't just about a fresh look anymore; it was about reclaiming her identity and proving she was more than the stereotype. So, in a move that could only be described as a bold, rebellious statement, she decided to dye her hair black. This was not a mere change in hue. It was her declaration of independence from the relentless jabs and jests. Feeling like a brand new person with her chic brunette locks, Lisa decided to take her transformation on the road. She was itching to show off her new look and make a fresh start. And what better way to do that than with a cross-country road trip? Her destination, Montana, to visit her sister and experience the wide open spaces. And rugged charm of the Wild West. So, off she went, cruising through the scenic Montana landscapes with the wind in her hair. Well, technically, her newly dyed black hair. The open road stretched before her, and she was ready to embrace her new beginning. But as fate would have it, her grand adventure hit an unexpected snag. As Lisa drove through a particularly picturesque stretch of Montana. She suddenly found herself stuck in the midst of a colossal traffic jam, and not just any traffic jam. This was a herd of cows so large it looked like the Great Wall of China had decided to take a nap right in the middle of the road. The cows were leisurely strolling, munching grass, and generally causing mayhem. It seemed like there was no way around them. At the center of this bovine blockade. Was a rugged farmer who looked like he had stepped straight out of a coveralls weekly magazine. He was trying his best to herd the cows, but it was clear he had his work cut out for him. Lisa, however, wasn't about to let a herd of cows or the prospect of being stuck in traffic dampen her spirits. Channeling her newfound brunette confidence, she marched right up to the farmer. If I can guess how many cows are in this herd, can I have one? Lisa said, her voice brimming with determination. The farmer, who was no doubt thinking that this was either an absurd joke or a feat as likely as winning the lottery, gave her a skeptical look. But he had a sense of humor and a taste for a good laugh. Shoot, darling, he said with a grin. Knock yourself out. Lisa took a deep breath, squinted her eyes. And made her best guess. She was spot on, nailing the exact number of cows in the herd. The farmer's jaw dropped in disbelief. He had seen a lot of things in his life, but this was something else entirely. True to his word, he said. Well, I'll be damned. All right, pick your cow. With a sense of triumph and a twinkle in her eye, Lisa began to survey the herd like a seasoned ranch hand. After a few moments of careful observation, she selected the smallest cow, a little runt that seemed to fit perfectly with her new lifestyle. She managed to load the petite cow into her car with surprising ease, her confidence and determination making the task seem like a breeze. Just as Lisa was about to drive off with her new bovine companion, the farmer called out to her, his voice full of mischief. "Hold your horses, honey." He said, grinning from ear to ear. Before you ride off into the sunset, I've got a proposition for you. If I can guess your real hair color, can I have my dog back?
If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.